Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is my Nexus 6P. And the Nexus 6P has been out for about a year, and I've been using it for about a year. And now many of you that may know me or know my reviews know that I usually do a lot of videos on the iPhone. But one thing you don't know is that I use this as my second daily driver. I carry this with me just about everywhere. I use this for maps most of the time. And I use this for a lot of things such as videos because it's got dual front facing speakers. And lately, which is kind of funny to say, I've been using the headphone jack because the iPhone 7 Plus doesn't have one. When I'm using video, I go from my iPhone 7 Plus or I go from a computer rather and want to go to my iPhone 7 Plus and not carry the little headphone adapter thing around. And I don't like to use wireless headphones for the most part. There's an exception to that that I'll talk about in a new review soon. But most of the time I use a headphone jack due to the fidelity of it and I switch between a computer and then the phone and it used to be the 6s plus but since I don't have that I actually use this as my second daily driver there's a little bit of wear on it now one of the things if you're not familiar with me I don't like to use cases too much I like the initial design the texture the feel of the phone and the slimness of the phone or thinness to actually be what the designers intended. I like the feel of it, and this is one of my favorite phone designs. Now, after using this for a year, picking it up, setting it down, you'll see that the Huawei words have worn off here. That's just from doing this, picking it up, setting it down, occasionally sliding it to pick it up, and it wears off. So without a case, it held up pretty, pretty well. In fact, it held up better than my iPhone 6S Plus, surprisingly. That wore off quite a bit, and I, that's in some other videos. But this is really pretty durable. Now I also use this to film videos. I film video with it using the 4k camera and I've used this to film the iPhone seven updates, the iPhone six updates. It just has a great camera and it continues to be pretty great. Now that said, the phone has worked flawlessly. I have no problems with the speakers. Both speakers work great. The cameras work great. All the buttons work great. It feels basically the same way it did when I got it a year ago. The screen is pretty scratch free. I can't find any scratches on it. There might be some really light ones in bright, bright sunlight, but from what I can tell, there's nothing on it and I don't use a screen protector either. So it's surprising how well this is held up. It's held up better than some of my other phones. That's for sure. So this one is really nice. Now the software is really good as well. This is running Nougat and this is not a beta version. This is the full release version and it works really fast. It's, it's not an issue and you'll see there's a package I'm getting shipped, uh, 28 minutes to work and all sorts of different things. I, I just really like this phone. In fact, the Pixel is going to be my daily driver for a while, but I really like this form factor with the squared off edges, things like that. The speed of the phone is really good. I have no issues. I don't really have any complaints. Once in a great while it will hiccup, but that's pretty much any phone. This is surprisingly stable, super fast. And surprisingly, I mean, because, well, Android phones I've used in the past aren't that stable apps crash on them and things like that. And I don't know if that's because maybe it's touch Wiz or LG's version of their skin or whatever. This is just super fast all the time. So if you want to open something, everything just seems to move really quickly. Uh, there's no lag whatsoever. You'll see everything just moves great and fluid. And I really can't complain for the most part. It's great. As far as battery life is concerned, I haven't had any issues there either. So we'll go into the battery life. And you'll see, I didn't use it for a little bit. And then I started using it today. And I, I find I charge it every day and a half or so with the, the amount I use it. I use it to check email, manage some YouTube stuff. And overall, it's just been great. The battery doesn't seem to have been depleted by fast charging it, anything like that. It's just been really good. Now, other than that, I really have nothing more to say other than that it's a great phone. It's held up incredibly well. It's a great device and it's about $500 or so. This is the frost white version. They made a couple different colors also, and it's held up great. And I really have no complaints. It's something that I think is better than the previous Nexus devices. I don't know how it compares to the pixel that's in the mail or should be soon. Anyway, I pre-ordered one as soon as they came out. So I'll check that out as soon as I get it and, and share that with you. But it's been on Project Fi. It works great. And, and in fact, with Project Fi, I reviewed that before too. And this just has incredible coverage. There's areas that I go that I have T-Mobile on my other device. And there's areas where that has zero signal or roams to AT&T. And if AT&T is not available, it just goes away. Also, I carry a Verizon 
phone that has a Verizon SIM card in it sometimes too. And this just seems to work better. It's got three carriers, US Cellular, Sprint, and T-Mobile. And I always get better signal on this. So I can't really complain there. So I'd check out Project 5 if you haven't either. And that's not sponsored or anything. I pay for it. And I think it's a great service. So otherwise, this is a great phone. It's held up really well. And I think if you got one now, you'd think it's modern and fast. I don't think you'd have any problems as far as speed goes. And you'd probably enjoy using it for another year or two. So if you have a Nexus 6P, a Nexus 5X, or any of those, let me know in the comments below what your experience has been. Have you had a similar experience? Has it held up well for you? I haven't had the crack that some people have had across this, thankfully. But overall, it's been a great device. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.